Tired of coming up with content ideas all by yourself? You're staring at a blank Word doc, not knowing where to start or even how to begin to come up with ideas all by yourself. And I'm sure you've watched hundreds of videos on how AI can help you come up with content ideas in a matter of seconds. And I've tried all those, but they never give you the ideas that are even good enough. They're bland, generic, and boring. Don't worry, it's not your fault. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step the exact process you actually need to take to come up with infinite, yes, infinite content ideas using AI tools you've probably not heard of yet. This is beyond your basic chat GPT prompts. And yes, we'll be using those, but this is gonna be the extra step that you've been missing this whole time to generate content ideas that are relevant, unique, and guaranteed to help you go viral. Here's the wrong way to do this. Asking ChatGPT to give you 50 script ideas for viral TikToks about AI. These are gonna be extremely low context and low value, so they're not gonna get you anywhere when it comes to actually going viral on these short form platforms. Not to mention, they're gonna sound stiff, like somebody is 70 years old and wrote this, but they were trying to act like they're a millennial. It's gonna have a ton of buzzwords that don't really mean anything and just mucks up the script, and I guarantee you it's gonna have some weird emojis and hashtags included. The same thing goes for if you're having it write your hooks. And the reason it's working this way is because it only has general knowledge about a lot of this stuff. ChatGPT is an amazing researcher and can do some amazing things when you give it some real data to work off. And in a couple seconds, I'm going to show you the right way to use it. Here's the wrong way to create content, even if you're not depending on bad ChatGPT prompts. Staring at a blank page, having no systems in place to come up with ideas, and then quickly write those viral scripts. Writing whatever you think is going to work versus what's actually proven to work. Trying to recreate the wheel, and not scheduling out your content in advance so you don't have to be logging into all these different socials to post every single day. But here's the right way to create content. A mix of AI, systems, and your own ideas. We're about to cover how ChatGPT can be become an absolute content goldmine for you, you can actually come up with unlimited good ideas and how you're going to be able to use all these tools to steal like an artist so you're not just guessing what videos are going to do well and what won't. So now that you know the wrong way, I'm going to walk you through the right way and how you can use AI in different systems to 10x your output and make those outputs infinitely better. The first tool we're going to look at is TextBlaze. You can see on the screen here that I've got a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts going on. TextBlaze is essentially keyboard shortcuts, but on steroids. So I have shortcuts that'll paste in context about me, my audience, Audience, or just any really long prompts or links that I typically use. You can see here on the screen, for example, that we've got the content matrix prompt, and this is super long, and you obviously wouldn't want to worry about copy and pasting this over every single time. So now with TextBlaze, all we have to do is type in backslash content matrix, and you can see it copy and paste the entire thing into ChatGPT for us. And this is exactly one of the prompts you should be using to come up with your content ideas. So once I enter this prompt, you're gonna see that it's gonna start to work and build out an entire chart for us that's gonna make us at bare minimum 30 content ideas, but we could go up to 50 if we really wanted to. So you can see here that I input four different topics that I wanna talk about. So you can put those in for anything you specifically wanna talk about in your niche. And then it gives you different content types like actionable, motivational, analytical, contrarian, observation, X versus Y, present versus future, listicle. So that's eight different styles of ideas. And then if you do four, five, six topics, you see how you could easily get 50 ideas right off the bat with this. I'll throw some of these other text place prompts that I use pretty frequently up onto the screen so you can pause the video and screenshot them so then you can use them on your own. In the description, I'll have a link to a bunch of them along with a free month of text plays if you wanna try it out for yourself. So obviously we wanna be coming up with our own ideas for this content, but also we don't wanna reinvent the wheel every single time we need to think of a video. That's that's where this next set of tools comes in handy for me. And I'm literally using these every single day, whether it's me or my virtual assistant doing it for me. This tool is called Talk Backup and it allows you to put in any username on Instagram or TikTok and look at all their best videos and look at all the data behind them. On the screen here, you can see that I'm looking through my profile and we've got a video with 180,000 likes with 2.6 million views, 1.7 million views, 1.2 million views, so on and so forth. The way that I'm using this and the way that you should be using this is by clicking into each one of these videos and then taking note of the hook, the overall overall script, the pacing, the time of these videos, and then making your own version of it. Because the odds are, if I made a video about a certain AI tool and it went viral, you can make the same type of video, put your own personal spin on it, and it would be one of your best performing videos. If you combine Talk Backup with two other tools I'm gonna show you right now, it gets scary good. So there's two extensions that I've got downloaded and you're seeing right now called Talk Audit and then Sort for TikTok. Sort for TikTok lets you go onto any TikTok profile and it'll automatically sort all the videos it has by the most views. So you can see here, again, you're looking at my most viewed 
YouTube videos, I've got multiple over the 500,000 mark and multiple over the 1 million view mark. And we're matching that with Talk Audit that allows us to see all the different metrics on the screen itself. So even though this video got 2.6 million views, it didn't get a ton of shares. This video, for example, it got a ton of shares and a ton of saves, but it didn't get a ton of comments. Versus this video that got 870,000 views, got a ton of comments and less shares. You can analyze those videos and see what exactly I said in the scripts that caused people to comment a lot on the one video and what I said in the other script that caused people to share that video a lot. Because there's not exactly one way to go viral. It's not exactly dependent on if you get a lot of comments or a lot of shares or a lot of likes. It can vary from video to video. And that's because a video that makes a lot of people comment is probably pretty controversial and there's a lot of arguing going on in the comments. Versus a video that causes people to save the video a lot, that's probably something informational and something they want to come back to later. And then on the final note, a video that has a lot of sense is something really relatable that people are probably sending to their friends and family. I use all the data that I took from my videos that get over 75 million views in total, along with a ton of different PDFs about viral script writing and hook writing, put all of that together into my own custom GPT called Content GPT. And you can use this totally for free. You see on the screen here that you click the button to start the prompt, and then you go ahead and give it the topic, tone, target audience, desired outcome, specific elements or points you want to hone in on, links if you have additional context, and then what you want the call to action to be. You don't have to give it all this information every single time. When I first started using this, I was just giving it a link to an article and then getting a script from that. So for example, you saw that viral video that I had with over 1.5 million views about Google Bard, and I used this content GPT to make the majority of that script. I gave it the topic of the new Google Bard update that allows you to summarize YouTube videos. I wanted it to be informal and contrarian. I told the exact audience I'm trying to talk to, the outcome of my video, specific points I wanted to hone in on, and then a link of an article so it had extra context about all the things that were getting added to Google Bard. And then boom, it gives me the hook, a section to peak interest, discussing the solution, how you can apply that solution, and a call to action. 99% of the time, you're not gonna be able to do an exact copy and paste these scripts or any other scripts that you're going to use, but you can use 80% of the script to make your own version. And that's how I've been personally using it to come up with an entire week's worth of content in less than an hour. Not only did this script go viral, but also my Pika Labs video over on Instagram got over 1 million views and I collected over 4,000 emails from that one video and 85% of that script came from this content GPT. Again, the links are in the description if you want to try this out. It's completely free and it's in the GPT store. Another way I come up with a lot of these ideas and also how I get B-roll for all these videos videos is on Twitter. I highly suggest making a list of really popular creators in your niche along with just creators that make really good content because odds are if something's gone viral on Twitter, it's going to go viral on Instagram and TikTok when you post a video about it. So you see here, I have different lists about AI creators, business tweets, and then just a test list I've created. On the AI list, I go through this at least once a week, just seeing all the different viral tweets that come up and see if I want to use those in my videos. Obviously, you're not ripping the exact tweet and turning it into a video, but you can use it as an idea for your video. On top of that, you might have noticed this little plugin on the side. It's called Twemex. You can click on any profile on Twitter and then it'll show you their highest performing tweets, whether that's all time or you can click on recent to just see ones that they've done recently. Mac Ray has 276,000 followers on Twitter. He's got a huge following on Instagram posting these same type of posts and he's really big on LinkedIn. You can see that these little handwritten notes have gone really viral for him on here. And I know for a fact, these are going really viral on Instagram as well for him. So maybe you want to make your own variation of these. Again, you don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time you're making a video. Find what works, make your own variation of it, add your own personal anecdotes, and then post the video. So now you've got a ton of different ways to come up with viral ideas and create your own ideas. But what systems do you have in place to make sure that you're consistently going to be posting these? I personally use a combination of Hype Fury, Metricool, and Taplio to post on all my platforms. Hype Fury is on the screen here, and you can see that I have 24 tweets scheduled out to post right now. So that means I've already got tweets scheduled into next week for things I'm going to post. Hype Fury is also great because it has a built-in CRM system, and you can use auto DMs to collect a ton of emails from your tweets. I use Metricool to schedule out all my Instagram and TikTok posts, and it's one of the few platforms that actually lets you auto-publish to TikTok. You can see here, I've already got my short form videos scheduled through Friday of this week. With Instagram, I'm using ManyChat to collect thousands of emails every single week. And ManyChat allows me to do this by having people comment a keyword at the end of videos, and then I automatically send them a link using this tool. So if you're on Instagram and you've watched a video where somebody says to comment a specific word and they'll send you an asset, they're using ManyChat to do that. You can see here with this one video about Pico Labs, I got 10,000 comments, 
and I collected over 4,000 emails. So not only am I driving more engagement to my videos by getting more comments, I'm collecting emails in the process so I can turn viewers into leads into buyers. And ManyChat is perfect because it integrates with ConvertKit. So instead of me having to use Zapier to send all these emails over to a different email platform, they automatically go into ConvertKit when I set up certain tags. This allows me to really hone in on my audience and send specific emails depending on different things that people have bought in the past or freebies that they've downloaded. Email is one of the most slept on tools you can use as a creator. I know because until about six months ago, I was doing nothing with it. And once I did, my earnings skyrocketed. Again, with ConvertKit, you don't have to be sending out all these emails manually. They have a ton of visual automations that you can be using. So when somebody signs up for my newsletter, they automatically get put into a welcome sequence and they eventually get upsold one of my lower ticket products. And last but not least, we have Gumroad. This is where I'm hosting a lot of my free and low ticket digital products. The reason I love Gumroad is because it's super easy to set up a really clean landing page for each one of these products. You can see that this is what mine looks like for my Reels rocket ship. It's got a little video at the beginning, some text, and then some examples. But Gumroad has a great recommendation service. So when people download one of my freebies, it recommends that they download a bunch of the other ones. So I end up getting a ton of emails and people get a ton of free value from this. This means that they're more likely to buy from me in the future. Also, people can pay you for your free products if they really want to and they find a lot of value in them. Like you can see, for example, this ChatGPT mastery doc that I have, people have paid almost $45 for it, even though it doesn't cost any money. And then you see my Reels rocket ship, which is only $27 and I've only had on here for a couple weeks has already made me $1,400 just from Gumroad. All these things mixed together makes it so much easier for me to not only create content, but then see money quickly from that content. Using all these systems, I was able to help Better Legal go from zero to 66,000 followers in just a couple months. Two of my other clients, Best of AI and AI Tool Report, both got over 40,000 followers on TikTok alone. And to prove it's really not look, I created a page with only my AI avatar and AI voice clone, took these scripts and ideas that I'm using and gained over 4,000 followers in just a couple weeks. So now you know exactly how to generate infinite content ideas using AI the right way. You don't need to rely on just basic ChatGPT prompts. You now have the stuff that actually works and all the tools you need to generate viral content ideas every single time. But of course, the ideas are just one part of the content puzzle. You'll need to script them, film them, and edit them. And as I'm sure you already know, that takes a lot more time and effort than the process that I've just shown you. So if you still feel like you need more help with your content and you're a creator business wanting to add an additional $5,000 to your business in just 60 days, then me and my team may be able to help you. Click the first link in the description to get more information about my Velocity Views cohort and how my team can help you. These spots are going to be limited, so make sure you're joining the waitlist and looking out for all the updates I'll be sending out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button because I'm here to give you everything you need that will help you automate your social media growth using the latest and best AI tools. Also, click this video on the screen to learn more about how to use AI to automate your content creation workflow. I'll see you there.